McLean County may soon require protesters to get a permit at least a month before holding a rally. Kyle Beachy spoke to county leaders about the proposed ordinance, including the McLean County Sheriff, who says it's a matter of safety for his staff. A new ordinance would require any public gathering on county property to get a permit at least 30 days in advance. Does it include what, what one would call um, a demonstration or a protest? Um, I think that's up for debate. Would let us know who the organizers are of these, give us a heads up when they're going to occur, where they're going to occur. Sheriff John Sandage says they could help protect county property if they get a heads up for protests, including at the jail where they've had several rallies this summer. It definitely riles up the inmates uh, and we go to a lockdown situation to um, protect not only the inmates but the staff. During a march in May, one man was arrested for hate crimes after driving his motorcycle through a crowd, sending one woman to the hospital. Sandage says the city of Bloomington has a more restrictive ordinance already, but Alderwoman Jen Carrillo says otherwise. Almost always that permitting process is waived for protests because we understand that typically you don't get 60 to 90 days notice when there is an injustice that happens that you have to protest. The ordinance won't see a vote just yet as it's been tabled by the property committee. Our tax dollars pay for that space, and so we should have every right to demonstrate there every day if we want to. I want the community to have um, all of the opportunities to, to bring their causes forward or to celebrate an event and do so with a process in place. Reporting from Bloomington, I'm Kyle Beachy, 25 News.